Hello friends, I'm Akash and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more videos every time I upload. In this video, I'm going to be showing you an easy trick to calculate the least common multiple of any group of numbers in just 5 seconds or less. So I'm going to show you how to do that trick right now. And we're going to start with our first example over here on the top left. Let's say we want to find the least common multiple of the numbers 4, 12, 24, and 48. And the first step for doing this is to take a look at the biggest number right now. The biggest number in our group of numbers is 48. And what we want to do now is just do a divisibility check. We're going to see if our first number, 48, is divisible by each of the other numbers in the list. So, starting with 4. Is 48 divisible by 4? And the answer is yes, it's 4 times 12. Is 48 divisible by 12? Yes, it is. It's 12 times 4. And finally, is 48 divisible by 24? Of course, it's 24 times 2. Now, because 48 is divisible by all of these numbers, we are 100% sure that the least common multiple of these four numbers is 48. And that is the answer. So, now that we've covered our initial example, let's move on to a trickier one. This is the second example in the top right, 3, 9, 12, 24. So, here's how we're going to do this one. Again, we're going to start the same way as we did before, and we're just going to circle the largest number in our list, 24. And we're going to go through each of the other numbers and seeing if 24 is divisible by that number. So, let's start off with 24 divided by 3. Is 24 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. It's 3 times 8. But is 24 divisible by 9? No, no, it is not. So, if you see that any number is not divisible here, what we have to do is multiply the number. And we're just going to multiply it by uh, a starting factor, which is 2. So we can do that, 24 times 2, and we'll just get 48. And now we go and do the same thing over again, starting from the start. So we have 3 is 48 divisible by 3. Yes, it is. Is 48 divisible by 9? Still no. So what we have to do in this instance is to just add 1 to our multiple. So instead of 24 times 2, we now have 24 times 3. And now we do the same thing. 24 times 3 is 72. And now we go over the same process again, but this time with the number 72. So is 72 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Is 72 divisible by 9? Finally, yes, it is. And is 72 divisible by 12, the last number in our list? Yes. And because we know that 72 is a multiple of 24, it's 24 times 3, we have successfully calculated the least common multiple. And in that multiple is 72. And that is our answer. Now let's look at our third example in the bottom left. 5, 6, 8, 30. So let's do that one right now. Again, we're going to start by circling the largest number, 30. And now we'll start doing the divisibility checks. Is 30 divisible by 5? Yes, it is. Is 30 divisible by 6? Also, yes, it is. Is 30 divisible by 8? And no. So, again, we have to start multiplying. So we're just going to start with 30 times 2, which is 60. And we can check through each one of these again. Is 60 divisible by 5? Yes. Is 60 divisible by 6? Yes. Is 60 divisible by 8? No, it is not. So, again, we have to do this same procedure. But instead of 2, we'll do 3. So you have 30 times 3, which is 90. We again do the same thing, and you can see that 90 passes 5 and 6, but 90 is still not divisible by 8. So we have to still keep it up. So we, we have to do is 
do 30 times 4 instead of 30 times 3. Doing this, we get 120. And now, if we do the same series of checks, you'll notice that everything is fine. So, is 120 divisible by 5? Yes, it is. Is 120 divisible by 6? Also, yes. And is 120 divisible by 8? Well, it's 8 times 15, which means the answer is yes. And putting all of this together, we can conclude that the answer to the least common multiple of these four numbers is 120. That is our answer. Now that we've gone through all of these, I'd like to show you one final trick you could see yourself ending up in. And that is what we're going to look at with our fourth and final example. 2, 8, 13, 16. Here's how we're going to do this one. We're going to start the same way as we did before, circling the largest number, which is 16. And now we're going to start going through each number in our list. So is 16 divisible by 2? Yes, it is. Is it divisible by 8? Also, yes. But now we arrive at something interesting. And I'm going to use a different color for this because this is genuinely one of the most important things when you are trying to do this. And that is that this number, that is that this number right here, 13, is a prime number. And what that means is it only has two factors, 1 and 13. Because it has only two factors, whereas all the other numbers have more than two, it means that you can't actually do this trick properly. Because all you're going to end up doing, if you just do the trick normally, is you just do 16 times 2, then 16 times 3, then 16 times 4, and all the, all the way, it's never going to work until you just reach 16 times 3. 13, which is just this number over here. And what you can do is in this type of situation, you can spare yourself all of that work because if the last number you were checking for divisibility happens to be prime, happens to be prime, you can just multiply these two numbers together and you get your answer. So if we do 13 times 16, you'll find that the answer we get is 208. And yes, as it turns out, the answer to this problem is in fact 208. And that is our answer. So now that we've taken a look at this easy, least common multiple trick, it's time for some homework. Try to figure out what the least common multiples of these following groups are. The first one is 2, 4, 8 and 12. The second one is 5, 10, 11, and 20. The third one is 6, 12, 14, and 18. And the last one is 7, 14, 21, and 28. Please write your answers in the comment section below. And for your convenience, the correct answers to each of these problems is in the description. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss another one of my videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.